Hi guys, Olga Sobi here and today I'm going to do a feather pour with a traveling paint kiss technique and some straw blowing. Two videos ago I did an experiment and it was Liquitex versus Floetrol versus just water and many of you have recommended to me to uh, combine Liquitex and Floetrol together in one mixture. So thank you for all your advice and this is what I'm going to do today. I have mixed my colors with both Liquidex and Floetrol and a little bit of water. So let's see how that works for the feather technique. Today I'm working on a wooden panel again and here's one that I did in a previous video. So I think it has dried just fabulous. I absolutely love it and I don't know if you guys can see but this gold is so shimmery. What I don't like is that um, if you watched my previous video I did not apply any gesso on this wooden panel. So you still can see some texture of wood coming through and I don't really like it. So today I'm working on a wooden panel again, but I did apply some gesso and I think that's gonna help. But otherwise this one is just awesome, maybe this way for you guys. Can you see it better? Yeah, this one is just amazing and I really can't wait to cover it with resin. By the way, let me know if you guys want me to show you how I apply gesso on my wooden panels. So I want to start by applying some base layer I want to work with base layer today so supposedly liquid export medium should help uh, paint hold its shape while drying so that's my hope for the feather although it did, it did dry pretty good with polytrol as well so I want to see if there is actually going to be any difference Alright, now the most important part of the pour, the travel and paint kiss. So I think I want to position my feather this way. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way to the opposite corner. Looks, this looks pretty good. Oh, I really like those colors. I think it would be a bit nicer if I had more uh, just yellow on top here, but I guess I don't get to decide. Well, not always. So now let's do the straw blowing part. Actually, even if I was just to tilt a little bit and add the center line, it would already look good. But this is not the technique I'm going for today. Okay, so trying to blow like sort of a, not from the center because you st I still want to keep some of those rings and just trying to follow the shape of the rings.
yellow. Okay, I don't really like this part right here. It's shifting too much towards this end. huge fan of this part right here. Otherwise looking pretty good. I think I'm just gonna let it be and I'll just paint it when it's dry. I'll just paint this little part with white. I would say that compared to just Floritrol, the mixture with Liquitex is more creamy. Yeah, looks good. Just gonna add the center line. Now it's better. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see. Very nice color combination, I really like it. All right, well, I really can't wait to see how it dries and hopefully the Liquitex will help, will help it uh, dry a bit faster and also hold the shape of all this beauty. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and share. And if you wanna see more videos where I share different techniques and supplies reviews and all that good stuff, please consider subscribing. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.